on YouTube. Well, we're recording this for YouTube and we're live on Instagram. So we have our corporate voice on. Thank you very much. Um, we're starting up with cancer. Just things that I said on live that I want to repeat that I thought it was cool. So things that I want you to pay attention to. Neptune goes into retrograde. It affects Jupiter because they work alongside each other. And like I said, Jupiter is going through a new transit or Jupiterian people, which are Pisces and Sagittarius and these placements, they're going through a new cycle in their life that coincides with like a 12 year, 18 year cycle. So you're opening up these new doors ever since Jupiter and Neptune went into this conjunction, we're rebuilding things. Now, Jupiter rules elder, wisdom, game, um, religion, belief system. And notice how Neptune, this large planet, goes retrograde. And retrograde means reviewing, going back on these things. Um, these things, these people, the elders that we have in our society, they're hurting us more than they're helping us. And Chiron is in Aries. So that is where we need to start. That's why people say we should have younger candidates in Supreme Courts because they're judged. Jupiter rules judge, judgment. And these people are judging based on old belief system. Jupiter rules belief system, Neptune retrograde. So things that I want you to keep in mind of, of what's going on into the future. Now that we're going into the future of things, Jupiter rules traveling. And Neptune going into retrograde, Jupiter in these new motions of things, traveling, school system. Let me put it to you, judge, laws are going to be changed, school system. That's coming up real soon, actually. They're going to be changing that, right? Jupiter also rules travel. They've been trying to change that. They've been trying to change foreigners. That's why you see foreigners coming. Um, that's why they want to bring... More white foreigners, Jupiter, Aries rules, white people, Martian people. I'm sorry, it is what it is. You can look it up and somehow some Japanese. Again, they have mountains in Japan, I think. Somebody quote me or f please. Um, anyways, but just Jupiterian things that are happening. Jupiter rules foreign people working with foreigners. Don't be surprised. Right? Jupiter, different type of teachers. Jupiter rules joy, different things that we find joyful. I don't like the performances that I saw recently. They were giving basura. Entertainment is a traki. Just want to let you know. Even Venus, Venus rules music. I also did a TikTok about this. Thank you. Venus rules music and Venus is getting eclipsed. Rahu is a fast energy, obsessiveness. And then the music, Venus rules beauty. Right? So trends are happening fast. Different. Right? Then Venus rules music. Trash fast music. To me, I'm... Listen. I'm just telling you. Some of us been weird. Some these new people, we, you're new to this. Drake, you used to be weird. That's why he's trying to get rugged again and look weird. That's Q. It's giving Q. Just a side note. Thank you for listening for my tech talk. Um, I enjoy it here. Thank you so much. Okay, let's start off with cancer. The sun is in our first house, the self. Um, the body is the self body personality. Cancer rules memories. You are the creator. So as a cancer rising, depending on how you display yourself, luminaries, your moon rules the luminary. This, depending on how you display, illuminate yourself will determine the karma that you have with others. Make sense? I hope that makes sense. Um, so, think this season, now that Lilith is around, thank you, my love, the weird is in, the different is in, the relaxed is in, the genuine is in. Um, people, you're going to just notice that right away. Fake is going to be hard to be fake, bro. I'm sorry. Especially with the reason being is because you have is now sidereally Saturn is going into Capricorn and then your Mars is entering Aries we're getting this fucking squared as well like the fixed signs 
but in a progressive way of public image and the way we work with others. Public image and how we dis work with others, cancer. So business, how we display business, how our public image is now being seen. How, like for instance, I, that shit was, hap that's why we gotta learn how to work with your enemies. My boss, Jupiter, right, is in the, my sixth house ruler is in the 10th house. My boss over here, I haven't even played with him and joke with him but because me and him were old co-workers he want to say i'm all sarcastic and shit and then i'm oh because i'd be dead ass i'd be like i don't like this person i'm not going to talk to them i'm just going to be cordial and work friendly um oh but we can tell that you don't like them i said okay i'm going to be nicer i went to go dab this person at work this person looked at me like this and backed away like i was the disease or vernon vermin or some shit and I'm like, thank you, sorry for the side note. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk. But cancer, yes. I'm like, what is your... I sat there and I was like, you know what? I, I, I had to go like this, literally. I had to go like this. I had to, which I'm on live, if you didn't see that. I basically, I dapped myself up because he left me hanging. And I said, don't nobody ever leaves me hanging. But you know what? Um, patient, young grasshopper, I always come on top. So I'll be here for your fall. Now you just you don't even know. You just set up a grudge. And anyways. But um by the way, so those are the things that I'm just um letting you know. Your public image and how you how you express yourself with others is being shown in the spotlight right now. We're being you're being judged. I don't know why, because these people are <laughs> beneath you. I'm just saying. Anyway, sorry. Um like first of all and then he did it in front of the other boss so when I, when he walked away just want you to know, the end of my TED, the end of my ted talk when that boss walked away right he's not even a boss because they're nobody bossing me around anyways when he walked away i looked at the one that told me to be nice so i said um that is the last time that i do that okay thank you thank you and that is the end of that conversation so now that you understand why i do not speak to that man we're moving in great hands so just shit that i wanted you to know lilith is doing um it's just shit that i wanted you to know okay please pay attention to the people that are making you feel weird um making you look crazy in front of the world um just display it differently we're gonna play this character i'm a character main character i'm on my main character shit so what does that mean you're not about to i'm never i don't fall you don't set me up to fall. And even if I take a loss, it's a willing loss. So we're going to be, baby, checkmate. Don't play with me. So after that, it's been the same. We go back to basics. Back to basics. What does that mean? We're Virgo shit. Back to basic. We're rereading. And we're going to go back to work shit. So I'm only going to talk to you about work. I don't want to be your friends. We're not going to kiki. I don't care about what you believe in. I don't care about anything. What? I'm sorry. What is this about? Thank you. When I'm, mm -mm. nope. I don't speak Spanish. This and then and then the motherfucker wanted to sit there and have like, oh Shirley, because I'm not Dominican, but Shirley is. I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What else do you need me to tell you? <laughs> That's all you're fucking getting. Like, anyway, sorry about my TED talk again. TED talk. I just want you to know, um, perception is key in the way that they key. So it's just. At the end of the day, they need to know the big dick energy is in the room. And that's just the thing that I want you to know. Career moves, working closer to your boss, uh, doing things that you do not like. To, uh, to people you don't like doing shit, you don't want to. That's well, something. What did I write here? Change your work environment. You're putting your foot down. There's also changes happening in your home. Um... You're also working out. Like I said, this is personality, how you displaying it, how we're how we're moving forward with this. Because, again, at the end of the day, shit got to get done. We're progressively moving forward. We're in a momentum. We're cardinal. So thank you. Saturn is making this going backwards. So we we don't we feel that we have no time to waste. OK, so. Change your attire, change how you look. You're feeling uh, just for their palette because for right now we're playing chestnut checkers. So being that Venus is in the 12th house, um, we don't want to take a loss in the in that department. So we're just going to change it or step away from the light. So I'm going on vacation. I don't know about y'all. I'm, maybe I'm going on vacation. Fuck them hoes. Uh, we're going to take some time away. 
Because if I remove myself, I can't be the problem. Because it wasn't me. I wasn't there. So thank you. I just want you to know. Signing contract, applying the pressure is a thing as well. Uh, to like things that you needed to do. So going back on old paperwork that you had to do. Housing paperwork. People that you needed to talk to. Whatever. So losing items. So be careful. Because that's we got placements in the 12th house. In your home, you might find the back closed. Um, this weird conversations with people in the house be direct and blunt that's what i'm solving the solution with hit up with the virgo we got v we got virgo in the third house that's I, i'm just letting you know things that ways to make this easier for you um this is with family cousins siblings anybody just remember there's an asset of yours it's looking like an upgrade or renewal of a contract or the start of a contract with for someone or someone that you're around with if that makes sense like you're like whatever something you gotta tell um you get it so anyways moving to uh, also with the kids like i said is if you're trying to get pregnant not the good time for it but for other people it is obviously look at what's going on um but in my or it's really more restrictions to your fun life or some shit like that or for the kids they, their health or their schedule could be constricting your schedule because you got the ruler of the 5th and the 10th so it's a priority of yours that you need to pay attention to cancer thank you very much so I don't know if you have kids or if your lover becomes a priority you're, they're gonna have to even Stevens because you got shit to you gotta do too um, and you can't throw off your schedule because Jupiter is like I said it's trying to open doors for us, so don't be stupid. Bruce, I don't know. I was trying to make that rhyme. Maybe we'll figure it out when it comes back later. Leo, let's go to Leo now. Hang on. Hang on, y'all. We, we still connected? Yes. And we're going into Leo places. Hang on, y'all. We got to pause because the online is not recording, and we need that to be recording is the whole point of the game. So let's see. So you might want to plan this even Stevens, delegate some work. This this is giving like delegating work a lot if you are able to do that or being able to say no. Cancer. Oh, shit. I was supposed to record that. Oh, I am recording that. Being able to say no. Thank you. Let's go to Leo. Okay. Leo. There's two of you, my brother or sisters. So pay attention. Leo rules celebrity energy. Hang on. I haven't changed the Leo chart. Let's see. So we got Leo in the first house. Jupiter and Mars or Rahu or Mars entering siderially into your ninth house, Dharma house. Again, this is from the 28th to August 10th. Pay attention. Leo, please. I know you're not listening. First of all, you're not listening to people. You're not taking advice. Or they may not be giving you the advice that you want to hear whatever um why so jupiter is the ruler of your other dharma house the fifth house which means you're very passionate about something and something in your life like this is where you have to choose between saturn or mars so pay attention so you got you're very passionate about some shit nobody could tell you about this shit whether it's a relationship a course a skill a, a, and something of yours that you're really passionate about like for instance Drake was really passionate about that album it's giving basura why Mars is in a good sign though in Aries you could take the Aries route it could come dramatic if you take the Saturn route Saturn also comes with longevity though um, and but it requires more work out of you, Leo. I hope you're paying attention to what I'm saying, and I know you're not trying to listen, but I hope you're paying attention to what I'm saying. So they're both in good signs, so that means you could go both routes, but one is long term, one is giving mm, a knowing term. Now, you're very passionate about something. Mars is the ruler of your fourth house, which is kind of making is getting eclipsed, anyways. And is making you vulnerable. 
you have other priorities at store that's going to come. So you're going to have unexpected shit coming from your home life, coming from a from your core or like an indecision or a back and forth about something or what it, what you want to do. You're trying to fit in everybody and the, you're trying to have your cake and you're trying to have your cake and eat it too. And it sounds good. And I know what I hope you know what I'm talking about. So let's see it really depends now pay attention it depends on how your capricorn or aquarius or cancer or leo placements are in that chart so if you're leo rising leo placement if you have a cancer placement it's probably easier for you to see what i'm talking about and it, and you know what i'm talking about and then what happens is you got to be able to do both evenly and i know you're not good at that it seems like it so let's see it also like if depending you're not right now some of you may not be everybody's cup of tea those are those leo placements then there's some leo people that are improving and going with the program and doing changes healthy changes forward so and if not it's giving you anxiety one just want you to know that you may not like the 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 the, the outcome of it or the court decisions or you're not trusting what's happening from the contracts that you're making. So let's say you're something about that contract is not being completely understood. You're not getting the full like you're it's un, it's unclear to you. So you don't know how to move. So you're just going to make whatever moves come to you first. That's what is given to me. Now, Mars is making an aspect to your 12th house. If you have cancer placement, you're OK. If you don't, uh, hopefully your Saturn placements fight for you and you have a good Saturn placements like Saturn and Capricorn, maybe you could progress this forward. Again, this is in debt, court issues, waiting for legal bounding things, things that the government are in charge, something in your life that requires time, something in your life like an asset, like you've been trying to get a job, you've been trying to get something or maybe they've been promising you this gig or this job and it's hectic for you you don't know how to schedule your cycle or your you got two things going on at the same time you don't know you're you're trying to put your you're trying to be a twin right now and the sun moved into cancer so i'm gonna suggest for you the 12th house you relax and do the things that you can work longevity for for the month of cancer season when it gets closer to Leo, you can choose the Mars route. I hope that makes sense. So it depends. Think about what ninth house things are you trying to execute? Is it your living situation? Is it your, um, you're trying to create something? Like let's say you're trying to write a song and you don't know how to write it. You, you're trying to build your career. This is the fourth house of something you're trying to build that you're creating. Your self-development. You're trying to get a career. You're trying to get um, uh, some as uh, assistance from somewhere. Does I hope that makes sense. If that makes sense to you, go forward, okay? So I tried to make that as much clear as possible because that's what the fourth house is. You're trying to acquire something large, asset, a, make a bigger step into your life. Fourth house, you're making this baby. But there's something slowing it down. Work on the Saturn shit in your daily routine and then go back to that Mars thing. You got to give it a break, whatever that is. And that's the fifth house, okay? Um, let's see what else you got there. Some of you go on trips. Some of you have arguments with people. If not, this is Mars is going to bring arguments to you challenges to you getting these placements you're not communicating the right way with this um because jupiter is in here so you think you are but you may not be depends on how your aries again it depends on how your chart is looking at so um it, you could be going to therapy things could be let's see what else is there leo you could be you could be having family visiting you that are taking your space and you don't have enough space and you don't have enough time or you don't have things could be getting out of control in some area There's some things that you can't control or wait for. OK, going to, uh, you know, shit like that. So so for just things that I want you to pay attention to. Um, 
it could just be challenges. I I want to say, yeah, basically. Somebody said something about school. School. So this is the changes that I'm talking about. So Leo rules children, right? Leo rules children, celebrities, and um, leaders, right? So Mars is great here, but Jupiter is a, like again. Jupiter is starting a fresh cycle and is confused about things. Um, so you, you, which what's your fifth house? So there could be a confusion happening somehow or about time like they're gonna they're gonna require a new step for you to go to school or they're gonna require for a new like more steps it just looks like more work for you to get this shit done you're gonna try to bypass it and find loopholes out of this that some of you will be able to find it because you got the right credentials you got the right assets you got the right information done so you'll be able to finish it but some people like i said because maybe the teacher wasn't there. Like a lot of kids didn't have teachers to be there. Or the teachers were very much busy or weren't clear. That's what that Neptune is. So I hope that makes sense. Okay, so that would be you. That is Leo. Let's go to Pisces and then we're done with this video. And that's all I got for you for today. I got to go do other shit. And maybe if I get the rest... I'll be able to do the rest tonight, y'all. But I hope that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Damn, Leo. Pisces. Okay, Pisces. Because I always forget you guys. Damn, my past Pisces? What is going on? I went the long way. All right, Pi Pisces. El Fish. Okay, so Pisces, again, you're part of the Jupiter people, Jupiterian people, that are going through a wave of new cycle. Okay, so again, Jupiter and Neptune can join each other in an exalted sign of both the modern ruler and the older ruler. Okay, so this is a new cycle, a new way for every Jupiter person, Sagittarius placements and Pisces placements. Jupiter is in your second house. Now, second house is always things that you want or desire, your assets, your money, um, how you feel about your life. Okay, so I said it in the past and before. I've mentioned that last month, all mutable signs were making grand decisions in their life. So moving, buying big things like a car, spending a larger money, going to visit family, confronting family, some type of uh, situation happened with family unexpected to you guys, right? But either way, you're stepping into a new fucking era. Right, you're because Dharma. Let me tell you why you have Mars, which is the ruler of your ninth house, which is part of that Jupiter energy. Jupiter is basically, like I said, the ninth house energy higher knowledge, higher learning, academics, understanding life, looking at life at a different perspective, moving forward in life in a different route, a journey that you step into life with. Right. So these are things you probably don't know, but you feel it in your core that you're making a decision, whether it's 18, it could affect you for 12 years from now. Some of you made it a Saturn Saturnian decision. It could affect seven years from now and even 18 years from now. So Jupiter that's is conjoining Jupiter is yourself, literally your personality, who you are as a person, literally your Sims character is stepping forward or conjoining Mars. We taking one for the team. And you're like, Jupiter and Mars together is like a good set of gamblers. Most of the time, if you have Jupiter and Mars, you know a good gambler. You're a good gambler. You get really lucky out of nowhere really fast and it goes away really fast and it come back really fast. You used to this cycle. And then Jupiter, again, is the ruler of your public image, which is another cardinal house, who, what you're building into this journey, whether you're building or not, or you're experiencing life, whatever the fuck it is, right? So being that you're having these trances here, even in Siderially, you have Rahu there, and Rahu is in Aries. 
So just things that you want to keep in the back of your head, Dharma, making these grand decisions. Again, promotions, right? Making large purchases, making your family bigger, your your partners are expanding you or yourself with your partner. Does that make sense? So like buying a car, buying a home is getting into a long-term contract, cleaning your house, throwing out old clothes, confronting the right people in the house. Again, some of you haven't really looked at your bank account till like recently, whatever that's about. You, there was like some shit that has been leaving like... Um, there's been things like slowly brewing around you that you haven't like acknowledged and you just been letting it happen. Bitch, you about to let it happen. You about to tell them about that. Again, I've been saying that you've been or your in-laws are coming in with some new information. This could be a transformation in the family. So this is from June 10, 28th, right? June 28th to August 10th. Now, what is Jupiterian things? The noble class. So what is the noble class? Like the the middle, what's the people? Like people in high positions, like uh, meaning you're, they're very well known for their uh, um, things that they acknowledge uh, that they know or the notoriety, whatever the word is that they're about. So who like, like artists, writers, uh, like fucking cops, people that are in high status places with a lot of authority or a lot of being very well known for whatever whatever it is some jupiterian shit you're known by a lot of people for your credentials or whatever right these people are about to experience some type of transformation within their core unit so you're gonna see them pay that's why you're they're in more like livelihoods like notice how a lot of noble families have been throwing fam they've been throwing parties having large events like the like these like whenever you let I put it to you this way and I say this to a lot of people think about your like and there's ways to, I'm gonna, I was gonna say this anyways think about the if you want to know what's a, what's going on with a Sagittarius or a Pisces person I want you to really pay attention to what's happening to the noble class or the people of high status like pay attention to that and you can kind of transpire it to the per, a Sagittarius life like that's literally their life okay so think about it in that perspective even like for instance I told this to another person um, like for instance you wanted to have a child right the child is your moon which is your womb so think about what's going on in your mother's life and if you don't have a mother your grandmother or so a woman in your mother's side of the family think about what's going on in their life right and, and think about if it's a good time for you to have a child. Think about their life. Are they progressive? Are they going through some really intense changes? I was say, I was selling that to somebody. I was like, think about that perspective. Is that really the time you want to do that right now? So, so I hope that makes sense in that kind of energy that I'm trying to put it out there. So, checking. These are the things that I want you to pay attention to, Pisces. So, it also kind of aspects your fifth house, Mars. And that already is getting a little bit of light anyways. You got the new moon happening there. You got the sun in there. The fifth house is more fun. You're more confident. You're going out. You're getting shit done. This is part of your Dharma houses. Again, both Dharma houses are becoming it factors right now. So what's the Dharma houses? This is you doing things that you... This is basically God. This is in God hands, basically. This is another reader can't even tell you what it is because God is about to work through you because literally your Mars is, is coming into a, a new renewal, right? Which is the another Dharma house is about to rebirth itself. And then you have a new moon happening in your fifth house, Pisces. This is like karmic, da, da, da. Like if, if I wanted to watch a movie, I'd be watching the Pisces movie right now. I'll be tuning in to all the elders. I'll be tuning in to all the people of noble classes. I want to know what's going on in your life because the soul, their soul, is executing shit right now. No, It can't even be stopped. It's a soul level type energy. Does that make sense? Because of these Dharma houses becoming into new things. 
I hope that makes sense. But you're really feeling good. Depending on your Mercury, it is going to really depend on how good your life is going right now, Pisces. So just, I hope you're getting a handle of it. Of course, if you're under 27, they're growing pains, honestly. And if you're above 27, obviously, you these are executing shit in your life. I hope that makes sense. Like, this is with kids. This is with love. This is with passion. This is you coming into your life this is the north node in pisces this is slow soul shit so this could be depending on how your moon is played out in your chart so you look in your chart pisces placement and look at that cancer house that'll let you know what are the things that you may be challenging with or working with is giving you if you have cancer placements it's helping you if you don't Cancer, the Capricorn placements could challenge a little bit, but then they still assist you because it's your house of gains. So I hope that makes sense. So just be careful. Be careful. You could be judged more. You're more like being likely to be judged or looked at right now. Um, you're having more outbursts of yourself, your eating habits. Watch where you're eating. Um, take deep breaths. That's for you and me. This is for Aquarius placements. We'll talk about that in another sign, in another shit. So you got to take deep breaths. Thank you. I had to take a deep breath there. Don't get into situations where your back is like against the wall. Um, what does that mean? Try to, because you will have to make like soul level situations. So try to plan, a, get ahead of the problems now. So you know, and you may, some of you may not know, depending on your cancer placements or your Pisces or your Merc or your Gemini placements. So this means like if you, if you have, let's say you're a Pisces placements in your chart, you also see if you have cancer and Gemini, that'll let you know how you're going to like move these, make these moves, honestly. So don't back yourself into a wall, get ahead of the problem before it comes, like take time to research this because there's also asked a lot of transits in the second opposes the eighth house so really go into depth with this um if you're feeling sad about whatever information you do find that's really what you and gemini were giving information that may come to you that may look sad so i just want you to pay attention to that so there's like an all or nothing kind of energy do that one Let's see what else. It really depends on your moon, honestly, guys. So whatever your moon is at in your chart, that'll it'll also open up more onto those decisions of your soul. So if like if is your sixth house is work, your what you what are you deciding about life? If it's your seventh house relationships, I hope that makes sense. Family relationships is fits the eighth house, seventh house. You get me? I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna save the 